Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer, and welcome to this week's Explore Tulsa. Stevie, how do you feel about space? Oh, I love it, Trish. My dad and stepmom actually arranged for my family to witness the space shuttle launch of Discovery in July of 1999. I bet that was amazing. It really was, Trish. Plus, it was the first time that a woman was the commander of the space shuttle. Astronaut Eileen Collins was at the wheel. Yeah, and how'd that make you feel, a woman all in control driving? Well, there wasn't any other traffic in the sky that day, so I was pretty certain she could handle it. Oh, brother, let's check in with our own piece of space history at the Tulsa Air and Space Museum. American Airlines has had a relationship with this airport since 1931, and of course, the relationship continues today. The MD-80 uh, is coming to the end of its life with American Airlines. They're being replaced with various planes such as the uh, Boeing 737. And so they have a surplus of these. This one was actually starting to head for the desert to be put in mothballs. And they asked us if we wanted an MD-80 and we said, sure. Well, then we had to figure out uh, what to do with it in the meantime. We actually had it in storage uh, here on the airport for about a year and a half. We worked on it there to begin the, the uh, destruction of the inside, getting it, getting ready to put the things that we're going to uh, eventually have in there. And uh, we moved it in here in April of this year, uh, set it on its pedestals, and we've been working around it ever since. We're calling it the Discovery Center, featuring the MD-80. Uh, we have begun work on the interior and it will be hands-on science type exhibits that I think people will be amazed at the technology that we've been able to incorporate in what really is a, a small space. One of our latest aircraft that we have here at Tulsa and Space Museum is this one you see behind me. This is the Spartan Model 12 Executive. And this was the very last airplane that Spartan built here in Tulsa. During World War II, oil man J. Paul Getty was in charge of Spartan Aircraft Company and the Spartan School of Aeronautics. And as the war began to wind down, they began to lose training contracts with the government for pilots and mechanics. Uh, they began to lose contracts for building sub-assemblies for other aircraft companies. So he was trying to think of something that they could, could go into the late 40s, the after war period, and make money on. So they came up with this design of the Spartan Model 12. They built one prototype and they decided not to manufacture it. So this is the only one in existence. Uh, it was do donated to uh, the museum by a lady out in California last fall. And we are so proud to have it. It is a beautiful machine and just really a uh, a fine example of the hand craftsmanship that used to exist at the Spartan Aircraft Company. If you haven't been out to the Air and Space Museum in a while, you need to come out. We have all kinds of neat things going on, including our new exhibit, A View from Space. We have the new Spartan Model 12, and you've got to get a look at that gorgeous MD-80 that's out there between the two buildings, the museum and the planetarium. And we have a new planetarium show called Black Hole. So there's lots to see and do out here if you've not visited in a while. <music>